All right. So let's look at number five here real quick. I'll try to help you guys out as best I can. So it says f of x equals 3x minus 4 and g of x equals 5x plus 2. And what they're asking us to do is f of g of x. So when I originally was first teaching this a couple weeks back, yes? This is number five. So when I was teaching this a couple weeks back, the way that I taught it was, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to understand, I know this notation is confusing. So what I like to do is rewrite it as f of g of x. Okay? You can write it into that format because that format, what that tells you is to plug g of x into f of x. So remember composition, we're, what we're simply doing is plugging functions into another function. So we look at this and we say, all right, this uh, f of x equals 3x minus 4, and g of, x, g of x equals 5x plus 2. So if we go back to this, what we remembered about plugging things in, if I said 3x minus 4 and I said f of negative 1, you guys knew to plug in negative 1 in for the x, right? If I said f of 3a, you plug in a 3a in for the x, right? It's almost like a pattern. No matter what I put in these little parentheses, you're going to plug in for your input variable. In this case, it's an x. So if I put f of a sun, you're going to put a sun in for there. Right? Doesn't matter what I put in there. If I put a house in there, you're going to put the house in there. But what we're asking is what if I put a g of x in there? Well, then you put 3 times g of x minus 4, right? You plug the g of x function in for the x. Now, this doesn't really make too much sense. This is 3 times g of x. Well, I gave you g of x, so now you can say, oh, g of x is 5x plus 2. So therefore, this equals 3 times 5x plus 2 minus 4, right? Because g of x equals 5x plus 2. Then you apply distributive property. And therefore, your final answer is 15x plus 2. Cool. That's the composition. All right? So I will go through, ladies and gentlemen, the answers again.